Hi, I'm Danielle and welcome to this enchanted house and we're out and about again today. Um, today we are at Sterling State Park and I'm going on a nature hike with my son Victor and I thought I'd take you guys along. All right, let's go. So which way are we going? Are we going that way or that way? We're going straight. We're going to go over the bridge up here okay. and we're going to go walk through the, what's basically the marshlands. Filming right now, huh? Okay. The lagoons here in the marshes are actually man-made, and if you look too, if you're not too far from the coal plant, but the area is actually like a really great nature preserve. Part of the marshlands and this connects out to the Lake Erie. Yep. Ooh, Vic, you can see the Canadian geese over here. Huh? See the Canadian geese over here. Yeah. I'd look up in the tree over here. On the left, this tree. It's kind of hanging out. There's birds up there. Now you can get on like a car. Victor, look at the bird on the sign over there. Victor, <gasps> one bird's on the sign right by you. <laughs> just wanted to point out that you'll see these little bird houses all over the place as part of the conservation efforts here. Let's keep walking. Well, no, those are water lilies. Those are, those are a little more common. Actually, right, you see this branch right here? Uh -huh. You see sort of that brown mushroomy looking thing under the carpet? That's actually a lotus pod. And there's another one up, upside down in the water over there. Huh. So they might have already flowered, I don't know. Yeah, I wanted to find a lotus pod. Yeah, we found lotus pods before. Just I think you found one at Mimi and Papa's. Wow, look at it, that glistening water. It's very nice out today. Yeah. 
be a bird. Might be squirrel, bunny. What? Go for it. Mm-hmm. What is it? It's a bird. It's a bird? It's hiding. It's hiding? I saw it. It's a bird. I think it was that one. There, that's a here that's a crane out there in the middle of the lake. Where? Straight out in the middle here. this mushroom and I think it's a sweet bread. I'm not entirely sure if you have your thoughts you can comment but reminder don't eat wild mushrooms.
So you'll come across these benches every so often. Um, and they're Eagle Scout projects uh, by local uh, Boy Scouts who are, you know, they have to do a project to become an Eagle Scout. There we go, yeah. There, see there's a hole? Uh-huh. Something happened here. Maybe We hope it was good. <laughs> yeah, we hope they left. Part, and I think the trees kind of fall over, maybe? There might have been a controlled burn here. Yeah. See them. Mm -hmm. It's okay. See how close they'll let me get here. It's a pretty bird. It's a much more Another shadow going here. You know why he's staying so still? He's hunting. He's waiting for the fish to come by. Well, the white one on the branch is a crane, but the ones swimming are swans. It might be the man from this way. See how they really just glide across the water? Going right by the crane, he's mad. He's like, I'm fishing here! Yeah, he stands real. Stands really still. Oh, the swan. <laughs> the swan's going. Look at me! <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, it's just in time for you to fly away. It's alright, it's alright. Why are you flying? Yeah. It's gonna keep flying away though. Look at that little blue turn over there. Oh no, I see. You know when people talk about birds being from dinosaurs? Think of that's like dinosaur. So while this observation deck isn't quite as, as old as I am, it's been here for a really long time. And as you can see, people over the years have left their marks. And people might go, oh, destruction of property, but I don't know, this is better than, you know, messing up nature. And it's sort of, if you talk to historians, graffiti is one of those things in history that, you know, goes back all the way to ancient times. We've always wanted to leave our mark. And in particular, somewhere along here are my grandparents' initials. Um, my grandpa would have carved them over, um, sheesh, like 30 years ago? 
Um, and they're still here somewhere, probably worn down by time. It's just nice to think that, um, that little mug's still here. And, I mean, that's something he, that's not something he did as a kid. He was, they were already, I was already around at that time. Kind of just creates this sort of collective art that you can kind of appreciate. And it's still part of all this nature. Got some swan butt going. Swan butt. around Sterling State Park marshlands. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. We saw some really neat stuff today. Um, I hope you can kind of see, you know, how easy it is to go for a walk and just reconnect with nature. But like I always say, nature's always around us too. This is not far from my house at all. Um, and we saw lots of people today and they were really helpful and saw lots of neat stuff. So um, what do you guys think? Did you have fun? What's your favorite place to go and reconnect with nature? If you like this video, please give it a like. Um, please check out my other videos. Uh, please subscribe if you like what I'm doing here. Um, I have links below to my social media if you want to connect with me there. Um, and I hope you guys have an enchanted day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!